Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So on this video, we're going to talk about create engaging teaching visuals with MyLens AI. And right here, I'm currently inside the website of MyLens, and this is going to be the link. That would be MyLens.ai for you guys. Now for this video, we're only going to utilize the free trial for this account. As best practice, let's talk about the pricing. Now for the pricing, we're going to have this one by yearly or monthly. For the yearly, you're going to get a 36% discount. For this video, we're going to utilize the free trial which gives us 3 stories per day. That's going to be 3 generations per 24 hours. Anyway, without further ado, I'm just going to click on sign up or log in and use my dummy Google account. And I'll see you once inside. So welcome back to the video. This is going to be what's going to be inside MyLens AI. Basically, we can start from this platform right here. Before we get started, the left side right here will give us option to make sure you can add your folder if you want to be organized on your stories and on your visuals. In this part right here, you can choose what kind of visuals you're looking for. You can have timeline, mind map, quadrant, table, or flowchart. And the inputs may vary depending on your own perspective. Now, we can just ask anything here. For example, DNA. I'm going to go for this one. I'm just going to go for mind map. Click enter for that one. And this will only take a few seconds. Now, welcome back to the video. Now, this is going to be the results. And the first thing that I want you to notice, this one is going to be on this part right here. We have created one story as of now. Also, you can rename this uh, name right there. For example, the file. If you really want to make sure that you're organized on your folder. For example, right there, I can rename this folder. Add this up on that folder right there. So I can view them moving forward. Now, what can else what can we do on this uh, mind map right here? First thing, the share button is going to be right there. Make sure you click on anyone with the link and access toggle button. Because if you did not click this one and then you just simply send the link, they will not see this mind map you made. Next up, copy the link right there. Send it to your friends. Open them on a new website and they can see what you did. Basically, they're going to have access as a preview on what's happening on your project. Great. Welcome back to the video. Now, once we're here, you can simply download them that option right there. There's going to be three that's right here, but we're going to discuss that a little bit further because I want to generate some more here. You'll notice on the bottom section, you can have the Keep Exploring tab right there. You can have a detailed history, compare and steps. I'm going to go for detailed history for that one. Now, what's going to be the changes here? It will give me another prompt a generated story based on my requests. And with this one, it's currently generated. And the first thing you'll notice with this one is there are going to be two kinds of stories now. So you might be asking me if we can edit the contents of each mind map, um, story, timeline, or etc. Yes, you can. But that would be basing if you have the free trial. As you can see right there, the edit button is going to be on this lower right option. If I click on this one, it will ask me to pay for the paid subscription. Anyway, since I'm just making the free trial as of now and I want you to get a glimpse of how it looks like, with simple click of a button for this one, edit, and then just change everything. For example, in 1994, you want to make it 1955. That's going to be by your own choosing. And to enable that one again, simply click on the edit button and you'll be good to go. Next up, there is this color where we can change. This is the only thing we can change, the highlights of the results there. For example, you want to make it red. And then, speaking of download, if you click on download right there, change the gradient. That's the preview. And that will be downloaded with no problem at all on your computer. It's going to be looking like that. Again, I just want to reiterate, by clicking this button right there, the edit button, you can edit everything with a single click. Now, going back on the three dots on the top section, make sure you select one first, anything you want to delete, because if I click on three dots right there, I click on delete right there, it will delete the one that's selected. Now, we're back on the first one. That's basically it. And that being said, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.